Hello everybody, I am Centipede, you are the viewers, and welcome back to Luigi's Mansion. Last time we let out all of the booze. All of them. They're free. They're in the mansion. And uh, in this episode, we're going to catch some of them. So let's go to the mansion. Skip that cutscene, we've already seen it. Uh, I don't have any health, so that's fun. Um, now, now you notice on the top of our Game Boy Horror, we have a pink light. Now in the last episode, Egad talked about how that pink light will flash whenever a something round like a boo is nearby. So the first thing we're going to do is actually go into rooms that we've already cleared. Already bright rooms. Now, boos are funky because unlike most ghosts where they'll actually like be attached to your little poltergeist as you suck, boos will not. So you're going to have to move around with your control stick and aim with your C stick at the boo to kind of slowly bring the health out of them. It's kind of hard to explain, but you'll see what I mean here. So as you can see, the room... or the the light is now flashing red, so it'll flash more when we get closer to a boo. So, they're usually almost always in an inspectable object, so we're gonna check this out. And, yes, so I wanted to talk about this. Um, when a boo is in the room, it could also sometimes be a bomb or a ball that you end up finding first, because it's, you know, it's round like a boo. But now that we've found that, we should find the boo normally. Uh, when a boo laps, it means they've changed their position, so probably actually just went back to where the bomb was. Wow, how convenient. I am bamboo, if you please. Alright, so yeah, as you can see, I have to aim at it as I suck it up. Um, boos can also leave their respective rooms, so you have to be very careful that they don't accidentally leave into a different room that you might not have unlocked yet. Uh, not a huge deal if they do, but still. Mercy, you've already caught your first boo. I've been researching those guys. Well, these boos just... These boos don't seem to like light very much, that's for sure. They do their best to hide in the hide in and under the furniture when they're stuck in a lit room. So then I reckon that means that turning on all the lights in the mansion is the fastest way to find all the boos. Wouldn't you say, youngster? Okay, now send me that boo and all the data you've got. Alright, so yeah, catching a boo is another way to save. Just like with um, a toad. Be careful, Luigi. So there are 50 boos in the game, and basically... Uh, certain rooms, like the balcony over to the left after this room, or the foyer don't have boos in them. Not all rooms do, but the majority of rooms that are dark and then turn bright do. Now this place really only has like three inspectable objects, so there's a boo ball, not a boo. Let's open this up. Looking for me, Bootha. Alright, so the starting boos will only have about 50 health, as seen here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, oh no, I want to get my- No, my coin! Outstanding work, you looks like I don't know how to give me all the data you've got. No, I want my coin back. I don't care if I want to be careful. Where's my- No! <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, in here? Wow. Already? Or uh, maybe not? Oh, boob ball, okay. Uh, uh, so you're in what, in here? Oh no, you're in here. I'm smart. Want to play a game? Want to play Game Boo Advance? Yeah, so it's a. Most of the boos come out and they have little puns like Game Boo Advance, stuff like that. Outstanding work. You're a, like a leopard on the hunt. Okay, now send me the boo and all you've data, all the data you've got. I cannot speak. I cannot. Anyway, uh, from now on, whenever Egad says something after I catch a boo, I probably won't read it. But yeah, as you can see here, no boo. Room's too small and has a toad in it. So I mean. So we have our first couple boos. Uh, you can actually get a lot right away, which is what we're going to be doing. So let's go back to where we fought Neville. Can I actually check the other... Yeah, what are these guys' names? The Dancing Couple, the Floating Whirlwinds. Whirly... Whir Whirlindas. Whirlindas. Okay. Um... Nope. Fireplace? Or is it in here? Oh, okay. Bomb! Alright. Is it... Alright. Speak not my name. Taboo! Oh, I just spoke it. So, yeah. Ah, 
no stopping you, Luigi. Thank you, Mr. Egad. I'm very happy. Hmm. Don't go into fake doors. They bad. Also, you uh, you won't have this room for a while, even though it's in the first hallway of Area 1. Not going to get that one for a while. So let's go in here. And there might be one maybe right here, maybe right there. Okay, I know where it is. Wait, really? Boo bomb. Uh, I am the yummy boolicious. All right, so boos can't go outside if they run away, but they can go into other rooms. So don't worry about them like leaving out from the north side of this room. Unbelievable. There's no stopping you, Luigi. Send me. All I, can't, I just said I wouldn't read these, but here I am reading. All right, so you only need to catch five boos originally. Like Flyer says right here, you already found five boos. You're a boo snaring maniac. I understand you're worried about your brother, young uh, feller, but just take her easy. You've still plenty. You've plenty of time still, so try to keep your shirt on. Why not go to the washroom and splash some water on your face? You'll feel much better, believe me. Uh, so we could do that, but we're not gonna. Because there's still a couple of boos that I would like to get. No, Louis! <laughs> no! Cool. Oh. Boo bomb. Really? They're not typically in the same exact spot. I am Turbo, and off I go. Uh, booze can also go into the hallways, so sometimes there'll just be one in the hallways. Cool, thank you, Egad. I'm very glad. Very happy that that was a thing. I don't believe there's any way to check if you've gotten a boo from a certain room, so just kind of keep track of that mentally. But I know we have all the ones that we can get on the second floor currently. So, let's go down in here. Hmm. And we've only been in a couple rooms in here so far, so obviously right here is going to be a boo. Probably one in one of the chairs. Oh, we found him already. Hello, I am Bulala. -la. Alright, so as you saw, this boo actually has 60 health, so the further you go into the mansion, the more health boos are going to have. I think they can have like up to a hundred, maybe more? I'm not sure. Aren't you just loving my brilliant inventions? Okay, send me the boo and all the data you've got. Lemon ba. Mm -hmm. Alright, so there's still a boo in here because he decided he didn't want to leave the nice little cage he had. Where on earth? Okay. Boo ball. Of course you're in the same stack of blocks. Oh. Could be in any of these blocks. Okay, we got him. Just call me Game Boo. Just call me Daddy. It's a SpongeBob reference. All right, so as you saw there, he he just left. So if he went into that wall, then he should still be in the hallway. But we want to be quick because if we do want to if we do want to catch him uh, before he resets himself in a different room, we should probably get in there. All right, there he is. Uh, come here. Oh, no! No! Wait, do I have this room? Nope, it's locked. Cool, we'll have to get them later. Um, so, as you can see right here is, um... Oh, it was a heart. But as you can see right here is the floating candelabra, which is kind of a stable ceiling surprise! Candelabra is kind of like a floating candelabra is kind of a staple, but if you look at his shadow here, the shadow of the. Well, it was there. Yeah, there it is. If you look at the shadow of that candelabra, uh, you'll notice that there seems to be a ghost carrying it. So, we actually will be using that later, but we can't really do anything with it right now. Uh, even though it's like a staple of haunted mansions. I only said that because I couldn't remember if I finished my thought earlier. Anyway, there's no boo in here. I don't know why I came in here. Because there's a washroom and a bathroom. So now we're in the washroom. Uh, there's a toad here. So we're going to leave. No, not really. Um, anything in here? I need to stop saying, um... Heart. It's always useful. Let's open up. Toilet has a key in it. 
Probably should have talked to Toad first, because he's the one that tells us that there's a key in there. Anyway, that's going to help us get into a certain room. Can I... Anything? Anything at all? Anything? No. Alright, so... Talk to Toad. I feel like I'm about to burp. Okay. Oh, I just burped. Um, Sniffle, I, uh, dr I dropped a really important thing into the toilet. I did not mean to. Goodbye. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Toto. God, his face is a little too small for his head right there. Hey, you're right. No point crying over spilt milk. I'll s I suppose I'll just flush that old worry away. Yep. I'll just let it swirl on down to the depths and let happiness refill my life. Toad just c uh, compared his issues in life to a toilet, so... Hmm. Happy that that happened. Uh, anyway, what Toad says right there is basically like, Oh, I dropped the key in the toilet, and then you get the key from the toilet. Um... Ow! <laughs> Walking by this candelabra is giving me shivers. <laughs> you get that if you played the game. Uh, epic Fortnite gamer memes. Oh, wait. Okay. Get away from me, Mr. Bowling Ghost. See you like surprise! Give me your heart. We're playing Kingdom Hearts. No. So let's check. Is this the right room? What is my button for? Okay. No, that's not the right one. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's the right one. I love Luigi's nose. <laughs> All right. So here we're actually going to meet a recurring, kind of recurring character, because we're not going to get them right away. Um, it is a portrait ghost. Uh, we will meet her in a second, but the first thing I want to do in this room actually doesn't concern that. Uh, no, stop it! Stop it! First thing we're going to do is actually search the room for money, because, you know. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything in here. There's a heart, but don't really need that right now. Nope. Alright, so first thing you're going to want to do in this room is go into first person mode, and there's a piece of cheese right there. And we're going to get another gold mouse. So just be ready. And suck him up. And he gives us a sapphire. Our second sapphire. Very good, very good, very nice, very, very nice, very cool. Um, open uh, this this thing, okay. Um, so now what we're gonna do? I'm instinctively saying um, and I'm very upset about it. Uh, we can go in this room, but we're not gonna do that just yet. I do want to introduce us to this person. So if you shine your flashlight on this orb. You will meet Madame Clairvoya, who, for the longest time in my life, thought that the eyeball on her, like, the eyeball on her scarf and, like, the little teeth on her scarf were, like, was, like, her face, and she was just wearing, like, a hat that looked like a crown. But no, she's wearing a hood, that is her face at the top, and that scarf around her mouth just has an eye and stuff on it, because I was a dumb little kid, and I always thought that she just kind of looked like a one-eyed gremlin thing. What do you seek of me? Tell me the future! Who are you? I am Madame Clairvoya, seer of dropped items. Be really useful in Minecraft. Possessions of other people's awakened vibrations in my spirit. If you find someone's dropped items, you should bring them to me. I will show you the extent of my vision. Yeah, so Madame Clairvoya can help you if you found a dropped item of someone. So she's uh, integral to the plot of this game, because if you do want to progress, you do have to capture her. And to do that, you have to bring her all five items that you can find in the mansion. Which, in turn, helps you progress to later areas. Uh, that's all spiky and evil now. So this is the mirror room. In this room, you're going to see little guys in the mirror. But we're not going to be able to cap- or we're not going to be able to see them um, in the actual world. So we have to find where they are in the mirror, and in turn, capture them. I like the pixel rug. That's neat. Is that pixel? Eh, it's kind of a pixel rug. Heart. Do you have anything in you? Another heart? No! No! Oh, yeah. 
capture you. Please. Thank you, sir. Mario! Mario! Okay, so now we got two, so let's wait. Two for none! Alright, got that one. Uh, as long as you're kind of always spinning your control stick while capturing these guys, the other ones can't really get you. Unless I think if they're red. If they're red, they might be able to get you easier. Sorry, I'm a greedy little Luigi boy, so I'm going to pick up any money I drop before I capture other ghosts. Alright, suck up him. And... Alright, nice. So this is... Uh, different chests will actually give you different things. So this is a red chest, so I think it just gives us, like, collectibles or something. I don't know. I know that the different colored chests give you different things, but first thing we're going to do is... I also like how the reflection here is more of just a... It's really flat. It doesn't look 3D at all. But we're going to check, thi check this. Get a boo ball. And we're going to throw the boo ball. Give me the hit. Throw the boo ball. Boo! Uh, what we're actually going to do is catch the boo where are you mr boo Mario. same spot how original feel the wrath of kung boo all right we got him and let us no okay outstanding work you're like a leopard on the hunt now send me the boo and all the data you've got thank you okay be careful luigi Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to pick this up. <laughs> okay, thank you. And this is a elemental coin, which allows us to do something that Egad will tell us about, so I won't spoil the surprise. Hey now, Luigi, you... <laughs> Egad, your camera's not... Okay. <laughs> hey now, Luigi, what have you found there? Let's take a look at that. Oh, okay, he's, he's climbing up. There we go. Oh, ah, it's a fire element metal. Now you can use the fire element. Yes, sir, with that you can catch fire elemental ghosts. Hmm, what are fire elemental ghosts, you ask? Why, they show up wherever you see fire, my boy. They're ghosts of fire itself, if you will. If you approach a flame, they'll be surprised by your presence and leap out into the air. Then you vacuum them up, vacuum them up right away. After that, you can expel fire with the L button. You can melt ice, light candles, and do all kinds of stuff. Oh, like a candelabra. A meter will show. A meter will appear at the bottom of the screen. So keep. Oh, excuse me. Keep an eye on how much element you have left. Okay, feller. You may have to use the fire element to defeat some ghosts. Keep that in mind, Sonny. Don't say I never warned you. All right. So yep, we got ourselves a cool uh, fire uh, element now, and we're going to be using that in the next episode. I have been centipede. Oh, that's. That's fun. I have been centipede. You have been the viewers, and thank you for watching. Bye.